morning everybody, we are here in my unfinished, just like the rest of my house, upstairs bathroom, and Ella Bella says good morning, that was probably upside down or something for you guys, um, but yeah, I actually woke up in like a really good mood this morning, which I don't want to say is like weird, but like because I've been kind of depressed recently, like this is the first morning where I feel like awesome right away. I have no idea why. I was actually, when she woke up, when she wakes up in the morning, she cries, but it's not like a full-blown, like, Wah! cry. It's like a, uh, um, oh, I'm awake, kind of, kind of cry. Oh, baby, let me have to give her her toothbrush. It's so teeny tiny, but she has teeth, so she needs to brush her teeth. Here, baby. Brush them. So anyways, yeah, so it was like a kind of just like a nice way to wake up and she had woken me up from a YouTube <laughs> dream. Like I was literally dreaming up a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. Weirdest thing, but you will see that. Um, also, I noticed right here, do you see where it's kind of yeah. fuzzy? I don't know. I'm going to have to check when I edit this video to see if the video is actually coming up like kind of foggy down here because it's weird. Like I cleaned my camera lens because I figured, all right, maybe there's just like some film over my camera lens or something, but it's really fuzzy down here. I don't know why. I don't even know if you can really notice or if you didn't notice until I pointed it out. I apologize, but it's just super weird. Um, but I'm in my bathroom. I'm about to pull out some of my Hi. <laughs> some of my products and get ready. But what do you guys think about this hairstyle? I know right now, like, it looks super, super choppy. Like, oops, sorry. I'm like, it looks super choppy. Can't you tell? Bitch. <laughs> um, just because it's kind of curling again. I have naturally curly hair. But yesterday when it was totally straightened, it looked really, really cute. And I asked, okay, let me put my phone down so I can pick you up. I asked my husband because, um, he's so choppy. Mm, hang on, I'm trying to set my camera down. Uh, it's not working. Why aren't you working? You work like every time we're in this bathroom for me. And now you don't want to work. Isn't that just inconvenient? Uh, got something? Well, that's going to work for a moment. Come here, baby. Come say good morning. Yay! So, well, the thing is, I asked my husband Aww. about this hairstyle. Because every time I change my hairstyle, I just like to ask him. I just want to know if, <laughs> like, he cares for the look. And he's like, no. He's like, I love this look. He's like, it really suits you and stuff. And I'm like, all right. Well, I'll probably be wearing it for a while because it's easy and I know that I like it and you like it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I like it. I'm trying to set up my camera. All right. Is it okay if it sits there? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. All right, baby. I gotta put you down because mama's gotta uh, wash her face, but there's plenty of you of stuff for you to get into. <laughs> um, so today we don't have a whole lot. Baby, I gotta get my makeup off, love. Um, today we don't have a whole lot going on. I wanted to do some yard work because my husband was able to get into the shed yesterday. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I was talking about how the shed is locked, so I couldn't really get into it to get the rakes to rake. But he had a spare key, so he was able to get into it last night because his friend, baby, I can't. Look, look at all this stuff. Um... His friend came over and helped him with drywall yesterday, which I will show you guys because it's more done with the kitchen. Um, but he was able to get into the shed, which means I can probably rake today. Um, but I have to make sure, like I'm going to be redoing my makeup today, but I'll do it when she goes down for her nap. Because um, I am dropping her off at 4 at my mother-in-law's because then I have to go up for the catering party. So this vlog might be a little bit on the shorter side today, which is kind of why I'm rambling now. Um, because I know it's probably not going to be like a 40-minute video. But Lord knows me, I still will make it a 40-minute video. <laughs> I always try because like... It's kind of a 50-50 split between you guys. Some of you love long vlogs, which I'm on that page of love long vlogs. And some of you like vlogs within 10 to 20 minutes, which I also understand. So I'm trying to like find a happy medium where they're like 28 minutes, 25, 28 half hour videos. But I either put up like 
eight minute videos or like an hour video and like you know when I'm editing of course I can go back in and delete anything but I don't ever record anything that I feel like shouldn't be recorded once in a great while I'll go off on a subject and I'm like I don't really need to hear about all that so then I'll take that out um, but that's very, very rare because um, I don't have my camera like on me all day every day just filming random nonsense I only ever bring it out again unless I find something worthy of filming so I'm, I'm trying <laughs> but regardless of the length you guys seem to be really still enjoying my vlogs and thank you by the way so much um, for all the support I, I think I thanked in my last vlog too but still thank you guys so so much for the support about the um like body paint um or like face paint tutorials that I've been doing I was really nervous about that um Oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was really nervous about it because I'm not a great artist, especially on paper, but I, I consider myself pretty decent with makeup. I don't know every tip, you know, I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. I'm self-taught and 100% self-taught. Literally, YouTube taught me. <laughs> Most of the tips and tricks I had learned from trial and error, well actually all of them, was either learned from trial and error or YouTube. And that's it. Like, nobody had ever sat me down. Like, no makeup artist. I've never had my makeup done by a makeup artist before. Like, a like truly professional makeup artist. So, um, you know, I'm going to make mistakes down the road. And I'm, I'm not going to get it perfect right away. But you guys are so understanding and still so freaking supportive. And you don't know how much I appreciate that. So, I'm going to thank you like a thousand times. <coughs> over the past couple of ever but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face because I can't really talk anyways while my face is covered in suds so I'll let you go for a little bit um I'm just gonna head downstairs hang out with Ella for a little bit get her like a chocolate milk or something and get her breakfast I'll probably bring you guys back when I'm doing my makeup or like after I did all that because that's really when my day kind of gets started so I'll see you guys in a bit when this face is full of makeup again more noticeable <laughs> um we're downstairs in my kitchen if you can hear my keurig is just heating up <laughs> um but yeah we got more drywall done so he's able to cut out the holes for some recessed lighting so i think his friend will come over not today because we have work but maybe tomorrow they'll get some more done but we are gonna head over to my mom's to have breakfast because most of my family's over there and i like to spend the morning with them so I'm gonna make myself some hot chocolate and then we'll head on over Um, it's been a while since I last recorded. I got ready, obviously, we got ready, um, and then we were just outside raking for a while. Um, I was only able to get so much done because she kind of likes to try go to go out into the road, so obviously I have to keep on top of her and kind of rake where she is, so sort of all over the place. But we're back inside. Hi, baby. And I gotta sweep the living room floor <laughs> and vacuum the couch, so... A little bit more to do, and it's already, it's only 12.30. What? Excuse the sun, it'll be gone in a second, but we are off to Walfart right now. I have to get gas though, because I have nine miles <laughs> till empty. Luckily, I live right around the corner to a gas station, so that's not a problem at all. But I'm going to Walmart, A, to kill time, um, and B, I need some juice for her because she just ran out of her favorite juice um it is just Ooh, i'm gonna lie i was cutting it a bit close 
we are filled up now. <laughs> I always wait till like the last second to fill up on gas. My bad. Why is the sun like always in my face? Anyways, I was saying that we're going to go to Walmart to get her favorite juice and we're just going to browse a little bit. You saw the time. It was 1.55 when I recorded it. Now it's 1.58. Uh, so it's just about 2. I have to leave around... 340 to drop her off at my mother-in-law so we still have almost about two hours a little under two hours so I figured well the shoes gang we went outside for a while and we raked but then she just kept wanting to go into the neighbor's yard so we went back inside and we had um, some lunch and hung out and then she was starting to get antsy a little bit so I'm like all right well we'll get you out of the house a different way we'll go shopping and she's pretty good with um shopping she's pretty content in um carriages it's very very rare that i have an issue um with her if we're out and about and the fuck <laughs> um so yeah so i figured maybe we can kill at least an hour here um so i'll see uh see you guys after walmart Made it back from Walmart and I honestly didn't find much. Um, I like to go sometimes and just browse. Um, this time of course I had something to actually get while I was there but I still like to just browse. So I'm going to turn on the light and my bags are actually over here which I should have just moved them but I have two bags. But again, I really didn't get a whole lot. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, I guess I'll start with the lighter bag. <laughs> you can already see one of the items. So. Um, probably <clears throat> three days ago, I think it, no, I, it was a day after Halloween, so even less than that, I went to Walmart to get Duo Lash Glue, because during Halloween, I had brought my lash glue, um, with me into Salem, so I could, like, kind of touch up the rhinestones, well, I ended up using the rest of it, there really wasn't a whole lot left, so I needed to buy new lash glue, but when I went into Walmart, they only had this little tube of lash glue, and it was kind of like, um, it wasn't like the squeeze tube that I usually get. It's like a paintbrush almost, and I like it, and it is very um, sticky and adhesive, but I feel like I would like it better as a touch-up lash glue. Like, I think I'm going to leave it in my diaper bag because sometimes I'll be wearing lashes and, like, the corners start coming up. Um, because it is a very precise application, I think I would like it better for that. Maybe I'm just crazy, and maybe I've just used the tube too long and I'm too comfortable with it but I picked up some dual lash glue and this is just a clear one I used to use the dark tone one all the time but I feel like it doesn't get dark enough and it kind of stays a little bit purple so I feel like I always have to go over it anyways so I figured I would just get the clear lash glue I also <laughs> oh you hear that bell jingling so there's a section of Walmart that has like costume jewelry and whenever holidays roll around um they'll come out for with costume jewelry and like props for that holiday they, they, they did the same thing for halloween they kind of skip over thanksgiving which i don't know why because i love thanksgiving i'm totally looking forward to thanksgiving but because i saw these items and i know that christmas tutorials will be coming down the line so you won't see these again for quite a while but i got myself a little reindeer hat <laughs> i don't know how well you can see that well obviously the tag would be gone but i am planning on doing a reindeer tutorial so i thought that would be really really cute cute and then I oh uh, this was only three dollars by the way and then I also saw this so it's like a bell almost it kind of reminded me of something that like Rudolph <laughs> would wear and this was only two dollars so I figured I could pair these two you know on when I do the tutorial and it would just be really too okay I lied it, it was totally spur of the moment bye <laughs> let's stop trying to justify Every time I go to Walmart, if you're new to my channel or just haven't heard me talk about this, which would be surprising, um, you guys know my favorite liner ever is Hard Candy's Walk the Line in the color black. I've been using this liner since I was in high school. If you don't like liquid liner, you might not like it, but I love the brush and I am running out of the one that I have and whenever I'm at the store and I see this, I just have to buy it because I go through it like water. I do my... Whenever I do my makeup, I'm always doing liquid liner, and with all the tutorials, I've been going through it a little bit faster. So I picked one up, 
and that's what the packaging looks like in case you ever want to try it. I'm in love. This packaging, the black one, is different than all the other colors. I don't know why. They used to have a different packaging that matched all the other, other colors as well. Oh, and it kind of looks upside down. Actually, that's like the top of it. I don't know, but it is like stocked like this. I, I don't know. But anyways, I picked up one of those. I've also been really obsessed with warm, comfortable pajama bottoms, at least recently. So I picked up um, I picked up a pair not long ago. I was actually wearing them this morning. They were like a pink and like gray and black, um, maybe leopard print. So I picked up another pink and black polka dots pair. But they're so comfortable. They're like all fleece. The inside is soft. They're just so, so nice. And I try not to wash them too much. If I do, I try to hand wash them. Um, but this is in a size small, so it's size 4 to 6 in America. And yeah, they have a drawstring, which is awesome. I love pajama pants with drawstrings because they're always too wide for me around the waist. But I don't know. And, and if I get an extra small, they don't match like they won't fit my legs like I have really 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 long legs but a really small waist so it's really difficult for me to find bottoms but that's the first bag um there are only two other things I really want to show you because I just got her juice but in case you're wondering what she does drink um she loves this pomegranate blueberry v8 I've tried several other different flavors in v8 that she doesn't really care for she kind of liked my grandmother had some and when we went over this morning she had it it was a um strawberry and banana um v8 and she seemed to enjoy that but not as much so stocked back up on this and the last two things I got are actually like the same things, but I'll show you. So I got candles, and this is from Mainstays, and it's apples and berries. And again, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know I die for anything that smells apple. Like I love, love, love the smell of apple, especially Macintosh apples, and this is what this reminds me of. But I think this was like... Three fifty. I know it was under four dollars, so I, I got two of them. <laughs> I wanted to keep one down here, and then I want to put one up in my bedroom. And they're so cheap. I don't know why I don't just buy my candles from Walmart because I always wait for um, Bath and Body to go on their like two for twenty two sale. But even then, like I can get like fifteen of these for that. But it smells so, so good. I actually want to light it. I think there's a lighter outside from when we had a fire. But I've been burning um, this one, which is <clears throat> actually from Bath and Body Works, and it's a lemon mint leaf, and it's not very fall at all, so I wanted to switch it out for this, but I'm going to go ahead and light this and put the other one in my bedroom and kind of organize my stuff here, but... I'm actually going to go ahead and end today's vlog here. Um, that's why I didn't mind rambling on a little bit longer than I usually would try to. Um, it's only 2.41, but the rest of the day is pretty much going to be preoccupied by work, and I don't really film there. Um, so I will go ahead and end the vlog. I won't see you tomorrow. That is given that you don't get a vlog on Fridays. You get a different kind of video tomorrow. Um, you will actually get... October favorites. That's what you'll get. So if you're interested in that, look out for that. Um, Saturday, I am going to start my vlog a little bit differently because for me, tomorrow my it's my husband's day off and that's why I don't vlog. I kind of take it off too. And we really wanted to um, make a scarecrow and that's why I was raking so much today to try to get all like a lot of the leaves in a pile. So we really wanted to make a scarecrow, but I really wanted to get that on film, and he really doesn't mind. I just don't want to be, like, filming all day like I do when I'm home with just the baby. Um, but I will film that for you guys, but it will be um, the beginning of the vlog on Saturday. Right? Saturday. Yes. <laughs> so look forward to that, guys. But as always, thank you so much for following me around and hanging out with me today. My life is so flippin' boring, but together we make it interesting. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you in a couple days. Bye!